Welcome to Hello Main Street. I am your host, Monica Sanchez, and here we talk about tips and tricks and ideas for entrepreneurs just like you. So welcome today, uh, my friend, Chris Fier, who is the owner of Paulson Exchange. And Chris, please tell us a little bit more about you and how you got started in buying and selling businesses. Well, I got started not knowing that there were, in fact, business brokers in the world. So we ended up uh, making an offer and buying a yogurt company um, and got on the grocery stores. And after we were all done with all the lawyers and the paperwork, someone told me later, you know, there are brokers that do that, right? And, and I said, wow, uh, that was really cool. And then it happened again when I was working for a startup. Um, a business broker came in and sold the business. And I was like, that is a really exciting space to be in. So I wanted to go into it. And I did. And we always work with small businesses that are privately owned with another private party. So this is not, you know, stock exchange, you know, <laughs> public companies. This is small Main Street businesses. Um, yes. And so, I love that. I yeah, love, and I love that you said Main Street because a lot of people are like, how did you get the, you know, hello Main Street? What's that about? Because small businesses are considered Main Street business that are under a million dollars. And yeah. so I was like, that was perfect. I love that. So, yeah. Um, and so I know you started out in Seattle and, but now you're in Spokane, but you still work both areas, correct? Um, I'm kind of leaving Seattle behind me. So it's just a little okay. leftovers, but I'm trying to focus my efforts on Spokane and, and really Eastern Washington as a whole. Yeah. Absolutely. And I put it down there for our audience um, where they can reach you in the areas that we're serving. Um, so I know that I have come up, become a part of Paulson Exchange in helping in the central Washington area. Um, so and what I love is our collaboration, um, bringing buyers and sellers together, but then also thinking of things creatively. And so today I know what um, what inspired me to have you on the show today was um, you had done a pitch um, and you did a pitch um, in Spokane um, at the, um, now I'm losing my train of thought. Sparks but weekend. Say it one more time. Sparks weekend. Sparks weekend. Thank you. And that was when I was there and you, you welcomed me with open arms to your home. And I appreciate that. Um, and so you did a pitch for buyer bootcamp. And so I know we talked about it over the weekend and I know you're going to be having that coming up. So let's talk about that a little bit more and what that looks like and what prompted you to um, think about that. Well, for the last eight years, I've been working individually with one, two, three, four, individually, everybody. Right. And um, as I was looking at the just the the rush of businesses that are going to be made available to people, it became overwhelming. And I thought, I can't just do this one by one by one by one. We have in our area alone, I think we have over 25,000 businesses that are aging. And those these are private businesses that need a home. And yeah. I thought, well, I can't just keep doing this one by one. So let's do it with groups of people and see if we can have a little bit more. I don't know if you want to show that screen, but it's yeah. real. Um, Absolutely. The, the numbers of people that are or companies that are out there looking to sell is very, very real. So if you, you know, just in your area alone, Kennewick, Spokane, Clarkston, there's all these companies. These are just the ones that are over 15 years old. And you can see here that there is 29,000 of them. And so we've got to really pick up the pace on uh, and you you can turn it off now if you want. But we really need to pick up the pace of how we're transitioning these small businesses or they will close. And that would yeah. be a real travesty because, you know, what, what it feels like when you go into a city that has a lot of franchises and a lot of big names, it's a whole different feel than when you go to a main street city where there's, you know, Gladys's pancake house. You know, mm -hmm. these kinds of businesses are cherished in our country, but we're not treating them that way. So we've really got to move this along and get these into their hands. So the boot camp is meant to do that. Yeah. And what I love about the boot camp part, because I think what happens is we have people who, um, you know, they're, you know, wanting to transition out of their business. They don't have somebody who can take over the business. Like maybe this, the, the children are like, you know, I'm doing something else or I'm out of the state already. I, I don't want to be back in this area. Um, and so you have these businesses that they don't have a succession plan. They don't have anybody who's going to pick it up, but yet they've had, you know, 10, 15 years of, of success and established in the community. 
And like you said, to see them close the doors would be, you know, travesty for not just that person, but then for the community itself. Mm -hmm. um, and what I love about this is that I feel like we can get the businesses coming to our location or wanting to sell. Um, but then I feel like it's the buyers that have the cold feet, um, maybe because there's lack of knowledge or information and it can get scary when they start looking at numbers. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So that's kind of what, what I was thinking in regards to that. So so I know you have um, an event coming up. It's going to be in Spokane um, and it's going to be February 2nd. So mm -hmm. let's talk about it. What does that look like for somebody who's interested in um, being a part of the boot camp? Well, I'm looking for committed individuals who are really serious about wanting to start their business. Like you said, a lot of people get cold feet. I don't know if it's a general generational thing and there's this fear of failure or something, but whatever it is, there's a lot of people who back out of it. So this boot camp is partially to bring all the experts that you need to feel like you've gotten good advice um, and you've got peers who are in the same boat trying to go through the same thing. So I'm looking for serious people who are who are committed to being entrepreneurs um, because you do control your own destiny. You can, you know, make your own wage. You can take your, you, you make your own life really. And it's a wonderful life. It's a little scary at first, but it's a lot less scary than starting a business. These are existing businesses that have been making money for years and years, sometimes decades and decades. So the boot camp is really not just one day though. It's it, you're signing up again, commitment. You're signing up for four to six weeks at the mm -hmm. beginning of it. You're going to learn how to plan to um, evaluate your business and which business do you want to pick. Um, you're going to refer to experts who can help you evaluate those businesses. You're going to make an offer and you're going to be evaluating, you know, and negotiating that offer. And then you're going to be closing. The only thing that stands in our way between four to six weeks that could potentially extend it is a loan. Uh -huh. If you have to get a loan, it's going to take a little while longer. So plan on that, and that's okay. But everybody in the boot camp is going to be at different places at different times, but we're all going to be going through the same experience. Well, and thank you, Chris. I appreciate that because, you know, what I put down there is just the start of the date, and it's usually going to be on a Friday, I believe you said it was going to be. Yeah, it'll be evenings and weekends. Let's. I don't anticipate we're going to have more than 10 people in the class. And I think with 10 people, we can say, hey, everyone, what's your schedule look like? And see if we can come up with a because my schedule is flexible. And I know people are working and they have their day jobs and they may need to transition out of those over time. So sure, we're going to sure. be meeting evenings, weekends, and it'll be somewhat flexible depending on the needs of the class. Okay, and I shouldn't call it a class because it isn't a class. It's it's an outcome. Uh, it's a, a path to an outcome. So yeah, because what I love on here is um, buy a profitable operating business in four to six weeks. Um, and then what I like is that you were talking about access you need is 10% um, down um, apply to purchase a business, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then I like that you talk about you have um, in house investors that would be able to help uh, military, of course, is encouraged to apply. Um, and it's all hands on. I like that part that you're you're coming in with a, a community who's going to support you. Um, and then you're going to have this camaraderie with these other fellow business owners that will be in your community as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then what I like is at the end, you can actually buy a business and and you it's know yours. Start, start yours. Right. Exactly. A lot of people just don't believe that it's possible. That's the biggest hurdle I have with people that. Yeah. I've approached as buyers, you know, I, sometimes I'll work with, I'll be at a, I was at a U-Haul location when we first moved yeah. out here and I met somebody who was just outstanding. And I said, gosh, you know, you should own your own business. You you have, you seem to have it all down. And I feel like people like that just don't believe that that, it, like, I don't have a million dollars to buy a business. Well, you yeah. don't need a million dollars, but all you need to control is 10% down on whatever small, small, it could be a $20,000 business. Some of these food trucks, things like that, they're all attainable and, and coming up with 10% is kind of like buying a used car. So rather than buying something like a used car that depreciates, buy something that excel, it can um, basically build your, your financial future. Yeah. And what I love, I'd love to have you back on again, because I would like to talk about the creativity of being able to come up with funding, right? Because there's different ways. People always think, oh, I need to go to the bank directly. And then that's the only route I can go. But I know you and I, we we know that there's other 
avenues that you can take, um, even like 401k and things like that, that we can really talk about and dive into. Yeah, those are great examples. Um, they're not easy. I think some people think that there's just investors throwing cash at people and that's not the case. But if you're willing to work at it, you can get access to other money than banks. Yeah. And I recently had watched um, a series. It was called, um, uh, oh, shoot. Now I just thought, Undercover Billionaire. And it was showing mm -hmm. how to actually start a business within 90 days and getting some results. Um, so it doesn't take a long time. But if you if you got some sweat equity in there, you can really do some, some good. So yeah, yeah. One of the reasons we're targeting military is we feel like we've got to have some folks that are brave, willing to follow through, committed. And, and I just feel like that's, that's a characteristic. Um, so if, but if you're otherwise those things, um, you have a, a good chance of being an entrepreneur. And um, so, yeah, we want to welcome everybody into the door and, and, and get them what they want. Absolutely. And so if you're interested in this boot camp or talking with Chris or myself further, uh, Chris's number is down below. Um, and you feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. That is my contact information. Um, so that would be wonderful. Chris, what is one tip that you would like to, uh, people to know um, when it is coming to, to buy, sell businesses? I think the place people get stuck is there's so many choices. It's just almost infinite. In fact, it's not just businesses that are on the market for sale that we're going to go after. It's it's yeah. whatever you're looking for. So because the choices are so vast, I think it's a lot like dating. And yeah. you think if you're one of those people that thinks there's one soulmate out there for you and you have to find them, maybe buying a business isn't right because you're going to be searching forever. But if you know that there are several that will be, you will love, then, you know, just narrow it down and, and do it because it's all about you and your management. It's not so much about the business that you choose to some extent it is, but there's a lot of businesses that will work and you just have to be the person that makes it work. Yeah, I love that. So thank you so much. And so if you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe, um, share this information with other people. Um, and again, feel free to contact me. Um, LinkedIn, that is where you can find me. And Chris is on LinkedIn as well, but I'm also going to put her phone number there. You can call or you can text her as well. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much, Chris, for being on here with me. I really do appreciate it. And I love it because uh, it, it takes it takes a lot of people to come together. Um, so thank you. I appreciate it. And I have all the confidence in you in central Washington covering all the folks that we just talked about. So it's really nice to be working with you too, Monica. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.